do what I want to. Compton. I do. I do what I want to. 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 I be fixing with you, bitch, nigga. I do what I want to. Hey, trying to get you rich, nigga. Hey, tell her you's a lips, nigga. I do what I want to. You can't tell me who the school nigga I do. You can't tell me Hey you guys, it's your girl baby Bray OK and we back with another video. So today video is gonna be another night routine. Me coming home from work, you guys. I've been out of work for three days because I've been sick, just got over a cold. And I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. So I'm going to light my sage to just relieve some stress, a little anxiety. It's just any negative energy just trying to come my way. And I like to bring in nothing but positive energy because when you remove energy, you got to set attentions to bring nothing but positivity. So I like to look in the mirror and just tell myself affirmations, okay? I'm a bad bitch. I'm the one. I'm all that, you know, just affirmations. I like to brush my teeth before I get in the shower. I don't know who else like that, but I do. Like, I love brushing my teeth before I get in the shower. I just feel more cleaner. I don't know. But, um, yeah, brushing my teeth, brushing up and down, no gag reflex, no nothing. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I play too much. I like to get everything out that I'm wearing before I get in the shower just so I can have everything organized and everything just right there so I don't have to be looking for nothing. I like to spray this in the shower. It's a stress-free reliever. It just make your shower feel so good. I spray it around my house. I spray it on my kids' pillows in their room. It just helps them sleep better and just relax better. I am about to wash this wig in the shower, so I'm just detangling it all the way through. a lot of shower routines on my channel i do different things in the shower it just depends on my mood and i just felt a little overwhelmed i was down for three days having ate for three days just just got back to work so just had to get my body just used to everything so as i always do before i get in the shower i always scrub my body down with dust soap all the way through just to get any bacteria off my body it's basically like a pre-wash i'm being very careful where my piercing at because i'm trying not to get it wet this is my favorite vitamin wash that i use only for down there it makes it feel so good it's a tingling sensation and it's just make your private area feel so good i'm telling you once you use it you will never go back to whatever you're using right now like i'm telling you i'm washing my hair in a shower i'm not doing like a deep wash because honestly y'all i'm really not caring about this hair no more like <laughs> i'm really not so i'm just putting some conditioner on it and i'm about to just you know let it sit while i wash up and do my other shower routine I am using my dry, my dry brush. My dry brush is really good for the skin. My esthetician always told me I needed one, so I had invested in one. Every time I go get sugar wax, she told me I need it. My cousin said she used hers before she get in the shower, but it's a little rough, so I don't really do that. So I just do what works best for me. Sometimes I put soap on it, but sometimes I don't. But using a dry, a dry brush really do good for your skin. It's basically like exfoliating it. So it really works good. This is my exfoliating I'm using. I'm using Moroccan oil and I'm rubbing it all over my body. You might seem like it's going fast, but I'm just skimming through the whole video. Because if I don't, this video would be 30 minutes long in a shower. 
then I rinse in my body off. People wonder why I take long in the shower because shower routines is everything. Depending on your hygiene and your self care, it's going to determine how you sleep and how you wake up. So I'm putting this bedtime oil on my body. I like to shower and lather it on all over my body because it just makes you feel so good. It just make your skin feel so soft, make you feel so good. I'm going an extra step and using this by Truly. It's the boobs oil. I put five pumps on each and just rub my boobs in circular motions. Then I'm going in with the body conditioner. I'm telling you guys this body conditioner, you better watch out because I don't know how many times I almost slipped in the bathroom and people had to ask me, are you okay when I have company over? It'd be so fucking embarrassing. I remember using it at my boyfriend's house and I almost fell and I think his sisters was over and it was just so embarrassing. So be careful with this body conditioner because you will slip. So by now I'm washing the conditioner out of my head. I'm letting it sit a little bit. Well, not letting it sit a little bit. I'm keeping a little bit in because it is curly hair. So I don't need to wash it all the way through. And I'm using my Moroccan Rose body wash. I love this body wash. I'm almost out because my girls use it. So I need to re-up to the store. I need to re-up on this body wash. I need to head to the store at Ulta to get some more because these body wash smell good. I'm telling you, it be having a whole bath was smelling good then i rinse it off thoroughly so good then i'm rinsing my face off with cold water and i'm getting out i had to hurry up and take this off to see what it looked like y'all because let me tell y'all let me tell y'all it was kind of sore during to the hot water like in a shower so i had to make sure it was okay but i had to keep it covered for two weeks and i had to clean it two times a day so in the morning when i wake up i clean it and I put a band-aid back over it and at night when i come home i take it off clean it put a band-aid over it and she just said do this for two weeks because it's very it's a, and it's it's in a very sensitive spot and it's easy to reject depending on like how you move or whatever she had explained it all to me so i'm just following directions i'm not in a rush to show it i'm going to vegas in two weeks so that's it would have been like two weeks and like five days so I'm not worrying about it. I won't be able to show it in Vegas. But I always wanted this person, y'all. I did vlog it, so make sure you guys go check out my latest video because I did vlog my experience of getting this piercing. It was so cute. One out of ten, this piercing was like a two. And I'm not even going to lie. It was like a two. So I'm going on with my face products, my serum. I like to just... You know, make sure I have a deep face wash, a good cleanser, everything, just so I can keep my face hydrated. It is the summertime, so I want to make sure I keep my face hydrated. I am putting my medicine for my acne on my face. My doctor prescribed for me. I don't have no acne, but I'm just putting it on there just so I won't, I could, like, prevent it. It is summertime coming, and I'm going the extra step and put a moisturizer. I normally don't put moisturizer on at night. I just put it on in the morning. Don't ask me why. That's just what I do. So, yeah, I'm feeling so good. Like, so good. I put deodorant on at night. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, my shower routine just will make you feel so good. This is another body oil that I have out. I have one for in the shower, one for out. This is the Shea Butter one. The other one is the Bedtime one that you use. I do use it on my kids too, just not my son because he has sensitive skin. But the oils and stuff just make you feel so good. Tonight, I'm not sleeping in a robe. I'm sleeping in my silk little dress and what i just showed y'all was something that lightened your nipples in your private area that's what i put on there and my nipples in my private area got so lighter i like to spray my underwear with the honey pot it smells so good it just well actually it don't have a scent it just keep you fresh it's very natural so i'm not even gonna stunt it's very natural it just keep you smelling fresh and then i like to use my body butter and just lotion my legs my feet it's just everything and then I'm going to go on with my perfume. I am going to be using Valentino. I really love this one. I'm almost out because my girls is always in my stuff. They don't like to be in their stuff. But, um, yeah, don't ask me why I put on lip gloss. I am extra going to bed. But like I said, when you feel good, 
from the outside, you feel good in the inside. And I'm just feeling like a whole new person. I feel like I'm back myself. I like to spray this in the air, all in my room, all around me, because it's something about it. Like, it's just making me feel warm, making me feel good, making me feel... You know, y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all try this routine, it works. I'm telling you, if you ever feeling anxiety or just stress, you know, just get you a nice long shower, okay? And just rinse off that negativity. So every day I like to write in my gratitude book. I like to just look back at my day and just thank God for what I have. Like, I just look back and just thank him for what I have. Because the more you thank him, the more you bless with. And a lot of us sometimes be ungrateful and be wanting more and more and not realizing what we just asked God for, we just got. Now we wanted something else. And it's okay to want more and more. But just be thankful for what you have and appreciate what you have while God working on what you want. Then I like to script my next month. So each month I like to script my month. Basically, just basically looking back, I basically write myself a letter ahead. It's kind of hard to explain, but I basically just script. If you don't know what scripting is and not into that spiritual stuff, just look it up. But I basically just script my month, like basically telling myself, this month was a good month. It was a beautiful month. I reached this goal. I am da 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 da. And I'm telling you, every time I do it, it manifests for me. That's just the way I manifest. And then I just like to go over my affirmations. I have a lot of affirmations written down that I had got from coaches that I said myself. So sometimes if I'm just sitting at home, I like to read the book and just go over the most important affirmation. I'm going to tell y'all one of the most affirmations that I had received from one of the coaches. He was a guy. And one of these affirmations has stuck with me for so long. And I still say it is one of my best affirmations ever since I started my spiritual self-love journey. And I've been seeing nothing but good things. So here it is, you guys. Life is good. And it's only getting better. So not only that I'm telling the universe and God that my life is good and I'm happy where it's at, but I'm also sen- sen- I'm also sending a signal to the universe telling them that it's only getting better. Okay, you guys. So if you came this far, thank you for watching the whole video. Make sure you guys comment, subscribe, and leave a thumb up. And let me know what you guys feel about these night routines. My night routines is different every day. It all depends on my mood. The more I feel a little overwhelmed, the more I would cater to myself. The more I'm just like overly joy. I just, you know, don't do a lot. So my shower routines go based off my mood on how I come home and how I wake up feeling. Comment, subscribe. Like I already said, I am kind of getting tired. So yeah, um, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on Instagram with Latrice with seven E's. And you guys have a nice night or a good morning or whenever you watch this. Sorry for my broken nose.